Hello on this wonderful Sunday afternoon. My name is Penny Alterskai. I'm a Reiki master teacher, crystal healer, angel card reader. I work with angels and crystals and I work with bringing positive energy back into your life. Today I'm going to be showing you angel cards. Now this is one deck that I was given as a gift. So I'm going to show you how they work. They are Doreen Virtue's Angel Therapy Oracle Cards. And it is a deck of 44 cards, which comes in the beautiful box I've just shown you. The cards look amazing. They've got these beautiful healing hands on the front, emanating wonderful, warm, beautiful, pure healing energy from their hands. They are lovely cards because they've got that beautiful gold embossed sides to them. And then the pictures are just lovely. Have a look at those. We've got some lovely inspirational pictures. Beautiful, easy to read if you're wanting to intuitively work with the cards. Look at those, aren't they gorgeous? All these beautiful angels with these lovely words. And integrity says, align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. Isn't that lovely? Really inspirational. I work predominantly with angel cards. And the reason I do that is because the angel cards have such positive, light, loving messages for all of us. Angels are beings of light and love, pure light, pure love. There's no ego about angels. They work for our good. They work to help us. They see the big picture up there, far before we could even think about the different elements of that big picture. And they work to help us through that. They see the outcome and they work to get us to where we need to be. So let's see right now how you can work with these cards. Most angel cards, well, actually virtually every, every deck that I use, and I use many of them, works the same way. You have your cards, and you also have a book that comes with them, giving you lots of information about this deck of cards. So let's go with this. First of all, I want you to shuffle your cards, however you see fit, however you prefer to shuffle them, whether you want to shuffle them the way I'm doing them, or whether you want to mix them up a little bit, front to back, front to back, however it works for you, or are you an aspiring croupier wanting to work in a casino and you know to let them all slide into each other. However it works for you, I want you to shuffle them up really well, okay? You can continue shuffling them until any drop out. So if any cards drop out, I want you to not discard them and put them back in. I want you to put them on one side because those are the cards that we really need to, to use. And it's almost as if the cards are saying, well, hey, this is the one you need. Don't ignore me. Don't underestimate what I can give you, what I can tell you about your life. Angel cards are positive readings because in every situation in life, there is a positive outcome. There is a choice. You have options. And there is a positive outcome. We just don't see it when we're stuck in the situation that we're in. So these cards serve to help you find the situation. Now, I don't work for Doreen Virtue. I, don't, I haven't even met Doreen Virtue. But I like her cards, and that's all it takes. See if there's a deck out there from anyone that just draws your attention and that you like. I was fortunate in that these cards were given to me as a gift. Some people say that you have to receive the cards, you can't choose them yourself. That's not true. You can receive them as a gift, that's wonderful, because somebody has thought of you while they've chosen those cards, and that's really special. But you can equally choose them yourself. Just look at the cards that you're drawn to, read up about them. Each deck is slightly different. These ones are angel therapy, so it's all about what therapy you need in your life that the angels can provide for you. You'll have other ones called Messages from Your Angel. You have Life Purpose Cards. We've got lots of different ones. I'll probably show you lots of decks over the space and course of time. So now we've really shuffled these up well. Right, the cards are now ready. What you need to do, if you haven't had any cards that jump out at you, that you've put to one side, we're going to just choose them. Now because they're so well shuffled, you can choose the top three cards if you want. Or you can fan them out and choose one two and three. You can choose any number of cards you want. There's no set rules to this. It will be guided through the book, but it go with what you feel because this is your reading for you right now, right here. So you need to go with what works for you. If you want to pick one card in the morning, that works as well. 
There's nothing wrong with that at all. How are we going to look at these cards? first one says workshops and seminars and it says attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. Isn't that fabulous? It's all about educating. Learning something that you can then teach to others and that's what life's all about. Learning from my experiences and then using those to teach others. And it's also saying that the more you learn, the more you teach, the more you will understand what path you're on from a spiritual perspective. If you are interested in developing your psychic skills, your spiritual skills, this card saying, now is the time. Go out there, do it, you can. And look at the beautiful blue wings on that card. The peace that that card is showing to you. Calming blue and arms open as if to say, what are you waiting for? Anything's possible. Now, we've got this card, Workshops and Seminars. If you want to look it up in the book, let's see if we can get to it without it slipping past me. There we go, Workshops and Seminars. All you do is you look up the card in the book and this says, the angels have been sending you intuitive messages about attending and giving workshops, seminars and speeches. They've now given you this card so you'll know that you really are hearing your angels' messages about this topic. If you've been dreaming about giving a workshop or a speech, the angels will guide you through the process. So you have to understand, you're given this card, but don't worry about it. Don't think, oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, no, I'm going to do that. The angels will help you work through that. It just takes a little bit of faith and quite a bit of trust. Give any worries, thoughts and concerns and questions to them and listen to the replies which will come to you as ideas and feelings. The angels will help lead you to the right venue, topic and audience. All you need to do is follow their guidance. You are also encouraged to attend workshops to further your path and your education. Enroll in classes that you feel drawn to and ask Archangel Raphael to support everything in this endeavor, including tuition fees, transportation, lodging, time off from work, babysitting, etc. And all you need to then do is to actually visualize it. It's using positive power of positive thinking. Visualize something that you really want. Visualize it actually happening. See the venue, see the people, see you standing up there all nice and safe and secure and courageous in front of this group of fabulous people. Visualize everything being sorted out for you. And then ask the angels for help to make sure that it is exactly as you see it in your mind's eye. And wait for things to unfold. When things are meant to happen, they will happen. It's beyond human means. Everything happens as it is meant to, in the right space, in the right time. Second one's all about the heart chakra. And it says the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. Beautiful, bold card, lots of greens. And greens are all about the heart chakra. It's about healing, working with love. And it's also showing me that it's time to let go of the past. It's time to stop those blockages that you might have, that you build up within yourself to protect yourself because that's what we do we have a way of uh, shutting down and securing ourselves locking ourselves away from the world so that nothing can get in and nothing can affect us and this is saying it's time for healing working on that heart chakra working on getting back to basics back to self-esteem and love of yourself so that you can give love but you can also receive it back which is something a lot of us are diff have a lot of difficulty receiving love from ourselves it's one of the most difficult things that many, many people have to do. And it says the angels want you to trust your feelings. Your heart is wise and it's calling for you to make important changes. Trust this wisdom as it won't let you down. Trust that every time you defy your inner feelings, your heart breaks a little bit. So when you're not listening to that inner voice, the intuition, and we all have it, every single one of you out there has intuition. Every single one of you can develop your psychic side, your spiritual side. Every single one of you could read cards for other people, can work out how you can give healing to people. Everyone has the ability. It's just whether we open ourselves up to it or not. 
And this is asking you to ask the angels to give you courage and support as you make changes at home and at work to fit in with what you really love. It says as well, you might have been hurt in a previous relationship and this card serves to allow you to now work on moving forward from that hurt, from that relationship, so you don't repeat it in time with the new relationship. And the next one is heal away addictions. Now addictions may be substance addictions, gambling, but they can also be disruptive behaviors. So it says it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire, back to the heart. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. Now Archangel Raphael comes to you in pure healing light. He is the healing angel. So anytime you feel that you need a little bit more healing in your life, you just ask for Archangel Raphael. And again, look at the blues, calming, healing, flowing water, allowing any issues or past hurts to flow away in the water, cleansing. And this is to ask you to get rid of any undesired behavior that you may have or may be experiencing. A lot of that behavior could be, again, linked to past relationships, that you're not quite moving from them or maybe elements of that past relationship, past reactions to the other person, dependencies on that person, which is a, that dependency is a bit of an addiction as far as the card shows. But whatever it is that you want to move forward from, you just need to ask. And that's what these cards are there for, to tell you, you just need to ask. The angels are there at your beck and call. But until we say, guys, I need a little bit of help here, they won't become involved. They'd love to. They're desperate to. They leave you little messages. They leave you little feathers. They make everything fall together in your life and flow. But until you actually ask, they can't get involved. It's almost like inviting them to help you, inviting them to get involved. And if you look at Heal Away Addictions, it says, this card comes to you to validate what you already know. It's time to let go of addictive behaviors as they interfere with your health, happiness, and life purpose. The angels ask you to be honest with yourself and to admit these addictions are wasting your time, robbing you of energy and confidence and blocking the answers to your prayers. Fortunately, the angels will support you through every step of healing away cravings and other addictive tendencies. It begins with making a clear decision to let the addiction or addictions go. Weigh the pluses and minuses, pros and cons, of the addictive behavior once you're emotionally ready to release it take the following action steps and then it talks you through what you need to say to archangel raphael you can use your own words or you can use the prayer words in here to help you to move past that addictive behavior to get you to where you need to be for yourself and for those around you that you love and that's how the cards work it might show you that you have some sort of problem or some sort of blockage or some sort of addictive behavior, but it will also help you release it and work on it to improve it and eventually to leave it behind. And isn't that fabulous that you have so much hope just in 44 odd cards, so many opportunities. And these cards are the time that you can read every day because they are outlining different situations that happen to you in the day. So every morning you could pick three cards, you could pick one card, or you could use these for a week, seven cards, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and see how that works out for you. There are so many options for you out there. The cards serve to guide you, and there are so many cards out there. Have a look around you. See which ones really take your fancy, and which ones you feel that you could connect with whether it's angels, it could be fairies, it could be animal cards, and see which ones you can get to work for you. Wish you lots of love this afternoon for a great week ahead, and I look forward to coming and chatting to you again soon. I'm Penny Alterskye, and this is me saying goodbye. Love and light to all of you.